Breaking crypto news, 42 Congress members wrote to SEC Chair Gary Gensler urging him to allow banks to custody Bitcoin. Massive pressure coming out of Congress. The people have crypto. Congress people understand that and they're going to try to support crypto as much as possible. Massive. Mark Cuban wants Gary Gensler's job at the SEC, report says. Mark Cuban is an advisor of the Biden-Harris administration. Kamala Harris likely to fire Gensler if elected, says Mark Cuban. So Mark Cuban, who's a massive crypto proponent, could actually replace Gary Gensler. Massive if that happens. Vitalik Buterin endorses Cello for beating Tron in stablecoin addresses. That's pretty massive for a tiny asset that very few people have ever heard of. So Cello's stablecoin market cap increased by almost 200% quarter over quarter to $191 million. So vertical growth for this unheard of asset that's also an Ethereum layer two, bringing hundreds of millions of dollars to the Ethereum ecosystem. And then we have ICP, monthly fees on the internet computer and avalanche. ICP is in purple, red is in avalanche. For the first time ever, ICP is beating avalanche in monthly fees, right? There's a lot going on on the internet computer. Here's another look at it. Spiking growth all in September, way higher than it's ever been. Lots going on behind the scenes as we emerge from this crypto winter.